Um, was there anything of like n noted interest in this whole project that really struck you, or you know? And there might be many things actually, but uh, well, I think it's the. I mean, I think it's just the basic story of of just someone who you know trying to survive, and this is one of their ways that they can, and it unfortunately didn't work out. But another thing is that she's a creative person, and we know from historical references that that the Nazis went after the creative people and the intelligent people first, because they were um, you know would be against the government. They actually be aware. Um, protest. Uh, so just another person as, as being creative people, I think we you know tune in with that, and then and then that she had this vision that unfortunately was never realized. And so I think it's it's great for us to be able, able to just to do that for her. And and how is this differed from other costumes? You know, for for the next um, show. Well, I think I think we're not looking at this as costumes as versus clothing. Well, yeah, I mean, costume is basically uh, a garment worn by a specific person for a specific time period in a play. Sure. And sometimes we have to do things to those garments to make it work for a play. Like, someone has to change quickly. Okay. So we have to construct it in a way that someone can be able to get in and out of a costume quickly. So it might be the way we construct a piece of clothing. So we may have hidden zippers or, or snaps or magnets and things. So that's for the costume side, or we have to have pockets where they may have to produce things out of thin air. So, got it. Uh, versus the clothing, which is more of a, a you know, everyday wear. So, so there's a different consideration in the way things are finished. Um, so for this one, um, if you look at old, uh, old clothing, we don't have the finishings are pretty raw. We think we think it's really raw because I'm not going to do anything to these seams. It's basically going to be paint. Okay. So they're not like. You look at the inside of your clothes, it's usually overlocked, it's stitching over each of the seams so it doesn't unravel. But um, they didn't really so worry about that back then because the fabric either didn't unravel or, you know, it, it wasn't a problem. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we're surprised sometimes seeing costumes like, oh my god, these things aren't finished. So sometimes in making that for like pants, for to use it for a production, we would have to do some overlocking just to make it worthy of our show. And so they actually can stand up to the wear and tear. Got it. Okay. I never really thought about that distinction between the two clothing and costumes. It made it seem like uh, costumes are clothing from a different time period. But, sure. You know, uh, even in ads, you don't even realize that. You know, you only see one side of the person. The back side could have a million pins in it. So just because you see it fit a certain person on a, on a picture, it may never fit a real human because it was it was sort of mini altered sure. for the, to look good for the picture.